So you're watching me on social media or we've been talking at the mom play groups and you're watching what I do and I'm home with the kids and I'm present with them and we're doing virtual school and we did that um, and we're going to the different museums and I'm present with the kids. But I'm also sharing that I'm earning enough to pay for our mortgage and groceries each month. And you're like, seriously, Ashley, is this legit? Is this real? Can you actually do that and be a present mom and be with your kids and earn an income while at home? And the answer, friends, is yes. Absolutely, you can. But I'm also going to be sharing with you a little bit about what coaching is, what it looks like, and invite you to come along to my What is Coaching webinar, my What is Coaching sneak peek, where I share with you all the nitty gritty. We'll talk about money. We'll talk about um, the specific ways that we work a business, so all of those things. Um, but let me kind of just share with you what this coaching is so that you can get an idea of if, if this is something that you think will fit in your life. Okay, so to give you a little background, um, I started with these programs five years ago. In 2015, I had my first kid. I had never been overweight. Um, I was a college athlete, and then I ran marathons and half marathons. Um, if I ever felt like I was um, starting to gain a little bit of weight, I'd cut calories significantly or I'd take diet pills. Um, but basically, I was like, I'm a skinny chick, and this is how it's going to be. Um, I didn't care what it took. I didn't care if it was unhealthy. I just did what I felt like I needed to do to lose weight. Well, then I had my son, and during my pregnancy, I just kind of let it all go. I really enjoyed that first pregnancy. I was like, oh, baby wants ice cream? Oh, I'm going to eat a bunch of ice cream. Baby wants peanut butter? Oh, I'm going to have a bunch of peanut butter. Before I knew it, I was up 75 pounds after I gave birth. So I needed to find a way that would help me to drop the weight in a way that was healthy because I wasn't about to role model for my son taking diet pills, cutting calories significantly, hating my body. I needed to find a new relationship with not just with food and with workouts, but with myself. And so a friend of mine reached out and said, hey, do you want to try my boot camp? And I was like, you know what? Let's do this. Let's see what happens. Worst case scenario, you know, I can always refund it back for a 100% money back guarantee. Worst case scenario. Let's see what happens. So I started doing the workouts. I followed the meal plan. I adjusted the meal plan for breastfeeding. I made I trial and error. I figured out how to do that to help boost milk supply, um, especially because I ended up having to pump about six months because I was going back to work. Um, and so I, I used the program and at six months postpartum, you guys, like, I look great. I had dropped the weight. I was feeling really good. Um, and then I had to go back to work. My maternity leave ended. So, um, I went back to work and while I love working, you guys, I loved my job. I was a pre-AP teacher. I had the best students in the world. I loved my school. Um, I was a curriculum coach, so I would help other teachers to create curriculum that was exciting and engaging, especially for history and social studies. That should be exciting, right? I loved that. Um, and I was a department head. I did Model UN. I was a coach for Model UN. I was a coach for speech and debate, and I was a coach for volleyball. You guys, I did all the things, and I loved all of it. But you know what I loved more? My son. And it was killer for me to drop him off at daycare. Oh, I'm get emotional thinking about it again. Drop him off at daycare, and he would say, Mommy, why are you leaving me? Or he'd be sick. I have to just decide, like, Okay, do I just, I can't, I can't take any more days off. Do I give him Tylenol and just kind of see how it goes? And, and hopefully the Tylenol will last as long as I can make it back and pick him up. Um, cause I can't take any more days off. Um, or I have an important meeting that I just can't miss. Um, and so I played that game and I just decided that, you know what? No, I can't do this. So we, we worked to pay off my student loans but I still needed to be able to bring an income in to be able to be home with my kiddos. I knew I needed to bring in enough to at least cover groceries. If I could cover groceries, if I could just bring in enough to cut, to pay for my supplements and have an additional 400 bucks, so I'm earning about 500 bucks a month, then I could do this. I could make it work. I could be home with my kids. Um, and I didn't want to take away from my time with them. I wanted to be present. If I'm going to be home, I don't want to be on my social media all the time. So I reached out to a friend of mine and said, tell me more about coaching. And you guys, I'm so glad I did. 
because now, three years later, right, within my first month, I was earning enough to cover my supplements, um, plus about, about 200 bucks a month on top of that. By my second month, I was earning enough to cover all my groceries and my supplements. And so from there, I just grew. Now, three years in, oh no, I'm sorry, two years in of coaching, just, just hit my two year anniversary, I'm able to cover the mortgage and the groceries and work 60 to 90 minutes a day, that's it, and be present with my kiddos. I'm able to go on all the field trips. I'm able to be able to uh, help the virtual school and be there for virtual school as we're going through that. I'm able to homeschool as I need to, to add supplements. I'm able to take the kids and do what I need to do and, and see all the milestones. And I'm able to fill my cup as a type A personality who likes to work and who needs to bring in income. Let me share with you how I do that. Basically what I do is I, I share my story. You guys have seen me on social media, right? I share that I love my, my Shakeology. I love it. Like it seriously helps my body to recreate my gut health so that I'm more effective to burn fat. It's not a bunch of crap and diet pills. Like it, it's honestly healthy, nutritious food. You see me drink my Mama Go Go juice, my yellow drink every single day to help me power through my workouts. You see my workouts. You see my post, my, my post recovery shake. I've shared with you guys my lactation smoothie, right? So all of the things that I would normally do on my journey, I'm sharing with you online. I don't necessarily have to share my kids. I choose to because that's just kind of part of my life. I choose which pictures I use, right? Because we're going to be aware of, of social media and the traps of that. But I share my life with you guys, right? Clippets of my life that are just kind of give give you an idea that that this is real life, right? This is how we use this stuff in real life. Um, I, I share, I, I learn more. Like I would normally, I would want to learn how, what are some good meals and meal plans and recipes that I could use with my kids and still help me hit my goals? What are some trick, tips and tricks that I use to help me not to cheat on my meal plan? Uh, what is my meal plan? How do I create one? And how do I create one that serves me and my family? Um, and so I, I learn all the information and I share it with my challengers. I run a group with my fellow coaches and now I, I run a group with my downline coaches, the coaches that I help, um, sign up and start their business. I help them to create their businesses. Like, uh, it took me 18 months to hit a massive rank in my, in my business. So I'd hit other ranks, I earned money, but it took me 18 months to earn an ink or earn a rank called diamond, which is a huge leadership role. And it's my job as a coach, as I'm learning more about how to do that, to help my coaches to hit those as well and we're hit them faster. So for instance, Shayna, one of my recent coaches, hit her first, her hit diamond, a rank that took me 18 months to hit, hit diamond in six months. I gave her the tools, I shared with her how to do it, and she rocketed it off and she owned her business. She worked in her intentional 60 to 90 minutes a day, teaching my team how to do that. And she now has hit Diamond and is holding Diamond and growing her team, hit that massive leadership role. Um, other women have hit it in nine months. Um, and so my goal is always to help my coaches to hit those rank advancements faster than I did to earn that massive amount of, of, of um, leadership roles, to earn that money, to earn those trips, those free trips earlier than I did. Shana also earned success starters. So what that means is that she is able to go to our yearly summit, our yearly conference for free, right? Uh, Nicole is able to pay for groceries, to pay for all of her date nights, all of those things. Um, earlier than I did, right? So my goal is to help my team to earn those faster. Um, as a coach, as we learn things, we pass that on to our challengers and our coaches to help make their lives easier and better. Um, and then we are professional friend makers, right? So you may have, have, I may have reached out to you and said, hey, let's be friends. And we're talking about our kids. And it's like we would be if we were neighbors, right? Or we were a mom group. Right, this is the 21st century. This is how communication works, right? Now, especially going through a global pandemic, all of our communication is digital, right? Most of it is. So it's just a matter of, of being friendly and, and, and enjoying people and reaching out, expanding your network simply by being a good person and being a good friend. So in terms of your business, 
what does it look like as a coach? So those are all the vital things that we do. We do our, we, we have our own journey. We share about our journey. We learn about how to be better at our journey. My first guy here, right? Mom liked. Um, and we share all the information with our challengers and with our coaches to help them be successful as well. Because part of this business of success, being successful here, means helping others to be successful, which really feels good, which is the same idea as being a teacher and curriculum coach. You're successful when you help others to be successful. Um, and you don't need to be perfect. You're just sharing. So what does that look like? Aside from that, uh, aside from sharing my journey and helping others, I work my business 60 to 90, to 90 minutes. You can do that in 15 minute chunks. That's how I share it with my team. Or you can do it in one 60 minute block. And that's what you do to grow your business forward. Everything else after that is simply just being with your with your team. Be, or I'm sorry, being with your family and being present with your kiddos. I work this business and I've grown this to cover my mortgage, to cover my groceries, and to cover my, my supplements each month to better my journey. I, I've done that by working in 60 to 90 minute chunks in my day. That's it. I work 60 to 90 minutes, period. And I teach my team how to do that as well. So that's it in a nutshell, guys. That's what coaching is. Sharing your journey, learning more about how to be successful in your own journey, sharing that information with your challengers and with your coaches, and continue to help others by being supportive. A professional hype woman, helping people to be successful. Then I work my business, which I have as our team, I share multiple different resources with our team on different ways to succeed. So I'll share uh, with my coaches as they become serious coaches and decide like, yeah, I do want to coach. I give them this tracker and we work through it together to grow their business. And it has been proven that this tracker in itself that my team has access to, that we created, that we share with our downline groups, that we um, can share that and we can grow our businesses together and explode our businesses together and be able to enjoy the fine things. Yes, I love what I do. I love being I love being a coach. I love helping others to succeed. But this is a means for me to be home with my kiddos, to be present with them, and to have a job that has given me meaning, right? That I really enjoy that. So I hope that was helpful for you. If that's pulling on your heart, if you're like, yeah, I really do want to earn an income while working at home, or I want to be present with my kids or my future kids. I want to get this under my belt so that when I have kids, I can just be there. I already have a working business that I only work 60 to 90 minutes a day and I'm home with my kids. I'm earning a crap ton of money, a six figure salary. Or if you're like, I'm home now, and it's time for me to work on my journey. And you know what? It'd be nice to be able to bring in an extra 500 bucks a month so I could cover my own journey. <coughs> Bless you. And be able to pay for groceries. Let's talk. My question to you is, what would it look like for you if you could be able to bring in an extra 500 bucks a month at minimum for your family? What would that look like? And if that piques your interest, or you'd like to be home with your kids, or you'd like to be at home working and still be able to earn an income and help others to succeed and slay your own journey, then I invite you to join me at my What is Coaching sneak peek. I'll be sharing about how we earn money and what does that look like. I'll be sharing about how to grow a business authentically, right? No spammy, hey, I haven't talked to you in 15 years. Here's an invite. Weird. Um, how to grow your, your business with authenticity. Hey, that's loud. Do you think you could pass? Now? Thank you. I'll show you how to do all of those things because I've done it. And as we learn new resources, we share that with our team. So I invite you to join me and go ahead. And the next step would simply be to message me and say, Yes, Ashley, I would like more information. Let me learn more about coaching and what that means. And look at this opportunity for me and my family. And add me to your group. All right. All right, friends. Have a good one.